Hi, it's TLC here with another project and I'm showing you I'm using my incense M24 colours and in my paper, my aqua pen and my stamps. I need my acrylic block and my stamp ready with my stays on because that works well with um, water so everything stays in within the lines. I've stamped my first card, more a character, isn't he lovely? I had to buy him. As soon as I went past I had to buy him. I just wanted to get home and run home and straight in with the colours. I couldn't help myself. There's my second little character. They work really sweet together. Just a happy get well soon or happy birthday. You could stick them on just about anything. My first colour is mustard and I'm taking off the tip of the pen. Is there anybody else who goes to shop spends an absolutely fortune just so you can have them little projects when you get home or is it just me? Put it down in the comments. I really would like to know. What do you do when you go to a hobby craft or a craft store? It's like a sweetie shop for me. It's just absolutely full of things that I want. I always end up with a big tray full of stuff of projects just so I could share it or show you what I'm doing. I mean I got these pens you've done and I think they're brilliant. This is only my third or fourth time of using them and I can see a lot more projects. I mean what do you think of these pens? I've used and enjoyed them. Do you find there's different techniques I'm not using? Put it in the comments below. We really would like to know what you do. I'm now starting on my second character. Starting off dark at the top and getting lighter as it goes across. Sorry, the paper keeps moving a little bit all the time. Make sure you get plenty of ink on that pen Well, on the aqua um, brush. And you can see I'm now getting more colour from it. I'd actually had a problem with the pen, the water wasn't coming out so I had to squeeze a bit of water on the side just so I could get it to blend. Realised I was running out of water on it. I mean, do you ever know that every time you start the video on, there's always something you forgot. Or you don't do something. It's amazing the kind of things you do. My second pen is Willow. And with this one, this is my darker one. And you work out really dark and you go down and you blend it in as best as you possibly can. Now I try to do it so it looks like approaching from the front which are both sitting on the ground to me. I'm just shading his little feet. And his legs. Just adding that little bit more colour just to highlight him a little bit more. And I'm now starting my second little character. starting dark at the top and lighter as you work it in trying to leave some of the other colour I'd first originally put on and I'm just trying to blend it in now I'm going to start on his feet with the back ones a lot darker and the rest just tipping on the edges and blending it in as I go along. My fair colours fusion. I'm just doing an alternate just to give it that little bit better colour. I'm bringing the characters out a little bit now. 
I'm now using charcoal grey and that's three stripes I had a problem where um, it had gone into the colour so I blended it in and added it on throughout and if you do it quick enough and it's wet enough you can actually get it out I'm now putting shadow underneath his feet on the part where his head where the shadow will come off his head I'm now on the first character and I'm making it so it looks like he's sitting on the floor I'm just blending it down and again there uh, and that's it thank you very much bye bye